What is up everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead and today we're going to be going over B. So in today's episode we're going to be talking about what you can expect when you go to purchase a side of beef and we're getting a half a cow so I really want to show you guys what a half a cow looks like and what you could expect for freezer space and what you can plan for. We'll go over the pricing, we'll go over the process, and we'll go over and loading it up in a deep freeze. And you can see for yourself what a half a cow looks like. Not a lot of people know what a half a cow looks like. A lot of people stay away from buying directly from growers because they don't know how to plan to hold that much beef. So we're gonna be hitting on that today. And if you guys ain't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I always say, it does us a lot of help and it don't cost you guys nothing. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go check out this beef. Oh, come on inside. Where's the beef? half a cow that is 342 pounds of beef in a 16 cubic foot freezer so if you're asking how big of a freezer do I buy for a half a cow of beef or even for a full beef well now you know and we have plenty of room to spare so we'll be putting our meat birds in here as well and we have this in the basement we chose not to put it in the garage because we didn't want the added stress or heat load on this we already have a deep freezer out there already We've had some close calls. We're in the basement every day doing laundry. You guys know how it is. So we're definitely gonna know if something happens to our deep freeze down here. And another thing is if you possibly can, get a deep freeze with a door alarm. If you got little kids running around like I do, they tend to get in here and get stuff and they forget to shut the door all the way. I've had a couple thoughts because of that. It's not good. Also want to talk about the official charge. So you're going to pay a fee, a state fee, for that slaughter of that beef. I don't know why. It's basically a permit fee that you're buying. We also have it for our chickens as well. So it doesn't matter if you're butchering 100 or just one, you got to pay that one fee. And that fee here was uh, $17.50. So going over this. It's not that expensive to uh, process your own beef. At least, uh, not in my eyes, it, is, it isn't. So the price of beef right now in my local area, we're seeing it as high as $6 a pound for hamburger. If I do my math right, I wanna say we're averaging about 390 something or 384 a pound. So, not too bad. I'm telling you, buying your beef in bulk is a better purchase in my thoughts sometimes you pay a little bit more but sometimes you pay a little bit less now our beef costs about 800 bucks and then our processing was 335 you're going to be into this for about 1200 bucks for 400 or 342 pounds of beef now that's not bad and i guarantee you you're going to get a better product than what you'd probably get at your walmart or your grocer unless you go to a uh, select fancy butcher shop or something. I'm not gonna say we you can compete, but it all depends on where you're buying your beef, I guess too. So ours, grass fed and uh, grain fed, it's it's pretty good stuff. We trust the buyer, we trust the grower, we trust the butchers. It is phenomenal. You're not gonna go wrong with buying a uh, half a beef, and you're gonna save money in the long run. Mo money, mo money, and. You get to support your local grower, you get to support your local butcher, which is a great thing, and you get to cut out that middleman, the store, and the prop, the big slaughterhouse processor, because I don't know if you guys ever seen inside one of those, that's the kind of business I'm in, uh, last 20, 20 years of my life, 
I've worked in processing facilities and I'm not saying you should be grossed out by them. You shouldn't eat all their food that comes out of those places. But trust me, I'd much rather buy my beef and have it butchered by a skilled craftsman than have 30 people cutting it with knives and touching it and God knows how many slices or different cows you're getting. But I digress. Just be sure if you guys are going to get into this, you're looking at about $1,200 investment if you got a deep freeze already. Uh, we'll just go over that fact that that's a 16 cubic foot deep freeze. That thing costs a little about 700 bucks. If you got one already, you're already ahead. Purchasing your beef, you want to be sure that you talk to the rancher, the grower, well in advance before you're ready to purchase. The reason for this is they're going to be finishing out this beef and you want to be sure that you secure your cow, half cow. And trust me, you're going to always find people who are going to split this up because people get a quarter, people get halves. I don't know anybody's gotten a full cow before, but I'm sure there's people out there who do. But back to what I was saying, you definitely want to secure this months in advance. We usually start this process in early spring and we ask for it and we make sure that you know we give that grower four months advance timing to get his cycles in order on which we're gonna be butchering from, which like which group of cows he's growing that we're gonna be purchasing from. They appreciate that, helps them out. So if that information helps, take it for what's worth. Boy, you guys are sure getting big. What's all the ruckus over here? What's all this yelling? That's all you guys do is bleh, bleh. What's going on, bud? Come on. Yeah. Oh. That's all you guys do is bleh, bleh. I don't have any carrots. No carrots today, guys. No carrots. Besides, you guys have been stinkers. Yeah, huh? You guys have been stinkers. No carrots today. Man, it's true what they say about... I'm sorry, I don't have any carrots today. Don't mean, doesn't mean you guys could talk to me like, oh, okay, Patches. That is enough out of you, sir. We don't talk like that, mama. You get these kids in line. I don't warn you about that. We don't take no lip. Man, but like I was saying, really? You gonna wait till I turn my back? Can I have the conversation with the peeps? Thank you. Like, really, that's enough. Okay, you guys good? Get it out of your system. Get it all out of your system. Yep, just to let me have it. Let me have it. Like I was saying, goats are comical to have, but they get in trouble. I tell you what. And the ones I have are potty mouths, so. All right, so all in all, 16 cubic foot freezer, holds half a cow, no problem at all, room to spare. Now we did get a lot of hamburger, we also got a lot of roast, so we didn't get a lot of stuff ground into hamburger. So you have the potential to have more hamburger if you want it. So just remember that. So if you guys got any questions, be sure to leave them, leave them in the comments section. I'll be sure I'll, I can answer them to the best of my knowledge, try to give you guys advice and what personal experiences I went through on anything I may have missed or any questions you have. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Sunny Soap Homestead. See you later, guys.